So we are here guys at double mat and our group mates are here but we are only for today oh it's lighting we're, we're, that's it for lomen you say hi what kind of it? it's english sorry sorry shopping ano bang mal ay what do you need ay <laughs> what will you say about our blog follow? <laughs> Guapo Matol! So that's our intro. Bye. We're still waiting for Asera, Monty, and CJ. I hope they will come here na because it's already what time na What? <laughs> Hi, what's up guys? And I'm the Catechist. So what's up guys? The love of God is emanated in the Bible. Now, we will read the word of God relating to this. Let's go! In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent His only Son into the world so that we might live through Him. In this, in this is love, not what we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be an atone, atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God if we love one another. God lives in us, and His love is perfected in us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. That's the word of God, guys. Do you understand the word of God? Yes! Where is love from? God! God is... Love! Who did God send to the world? His only begotten Son. So, Asera, why did God send His only begotten Son into the world? So, God sent His only yeah. begotten Son because it is His way of showing His love. Aww. So, that's it, guys. Let's go to the vlog. So, so what's up, guys? guys? I'm Kuya Ban. And what? I'm Ate Justine. I'm Ate Char. I'm Kuya Monty. I'm your Kuya Paolo. I'm the best I'm a teacher. And we are the Banana Squad. So let's get it. So for today's video, we're going to talk about love. So we have a lot of definitions about love, be it romantic love to self love. Para sa mga kids jan, ano ang iyong own definition of love? Comment below and let us know. Hello guys, I'm Monty. But despite of the different definition of love. And each and every one of us, we're going to talk about the perspective of love on the church or the Catholic religion. Yes, we are going to talk about God's love, the importance of God's love to us as His creations. According to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, that love is a virtue by which we love God above all things for His own sake. In our labor as ourselves, for the love of God. So basically, we should love God and our neighbors as we love ourselves. Corruption. So the importance when we should love God is because He is our Creator and He is the only begotten Son to save us. So imagine, kids, the Lord God gave us everything just because He loves us. That is why we should love Him too. Imagine God gives us blessing every day. For us, though, we should be thankful to Him and we can show our love for Him through loving our neighbor, neighbors as we love ourselves. So kids, you must pray every day and thank God that He loves us so much. Yes. Love God. Always thank God. So Lumen, what are the four types of love? The 
First is Torch. Next is Kilia. Third is Eros. And fourth is Agape. And that's it. That is the four types of love. Okay, so storage is a natural affection kind of love. Like for example, the love that you have for your family. What is storage again, kids? What do you see in the picture? It is two girls hugging to each other, so we suppose that they are best friends. So, Philia means affectionate love, which applies to our friends. So, what is Philia, kids? Friendly affectionate love. So, hi guys, how about this one? So, it is a picture of a married couple, right? They look so sweet and romantic. This type of love is Eros, refers to passionate love or romantic love, the one we feel about our crushes and what, and when you will have a boyfriend or girlfriend when you grow. It is called Eros. So this is a picture of God hugging a child, and this is an example of Agape. Agape is the highest form of love and a love of God for man and of man for God. It is an un unconditional love that transcends and persists regardless of circumstances. It goes beyond just the emotions to the extent of seeking the best for others. Have you learned something today, kids? Yes! yes. If so, can we ask a favor, kids? Yes! We want you guys to pray every day and thank God for His love. And we also want you guys to do good or to help other people because when you do good, you are already showing love to your neighbors. And that's it for today, guys. Please like and subscribe our channel. Yes! Bye-bye! pray to God. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bloopers, guys. Guys, bloopers. Some blooper, living bloopers. <laughs> 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 Hi guys, what's up? I'm back. Then. The love of God is. Gini agawa. That's it, guys. Vamos, let's go in. <laughs> Hi guys, so I <laughs> Imagine God gives us blood in every day. Thank you.